Okay, this is your standard B and G circ pump motor or circ pump. The motor's here. Bearing assembly and seal are here, and the pump is here. All these parts are individually replaceable. And this has kind of been the uh, standard of the industry for many years. It uh, is falling out of favor now because uh, it's so much more expensive than any of the replacement pumps uh, that it probably is not going to see a lot more use in uh, residential applications. Uh, certainly there will be plenty of them in commercial. But I'm going to do a disassembly of this thing uh, on the first part of this and then we'll uh, go a little farther later. Okay, here we have the pump tore apart with the impeller here, the pump housing there. Now these impellers, they came uh, as brass, steel, and plastic. This one's plastic, so it's a little bit newer one. Uh, but uh, occasionally these parts here on the impeller that threw the water out, occasionally those things would break off and the whole thing would fall apart. Uh, sometimes they'd make noise when they did it. However, if they didn't make noise, it would sit there running away, away like nobody's business, just not pumping anything. Anyway, that is a replaceable part on this pump. Okay, here we've got the uh, bearing assembly pulled loose. We haven't taken the coupling off yet. Let me get a little closer in there so you can see how that thing kind of works. I uh, wouldn't say it's the best view in the world. Okay, here you can see the coupler in the two halves. Here's one half here and the other half's in there. I'll show you that when I take this apart. Okay, here's what it looks like torn apart. Here's your motor shaft here and your coupling is here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull that coupling out of there. We'll lay that thing out so we can take a look at uh, both sides of it. Okay, this is what the coupler looks like when it's torn apart. As the motor turns, it pulls on one string. Say the motor's here. It's pulling on this one spring, which is also pulling on this spring which starts this to rotate. So it's a very loose type coupler. Believe it or not, these things very, very seldom fail on their own. So, uh, and we'll go over troubleshooting in another uh, video. But that's what the coupler looks like. Okay, there's your motor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this bracket off it so you can see the motors. But one of the things I wanted to show you before I got too far we have an oiler here, an oiler here, and an oiler here. So there's actually three oilers on these things. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this last part of this apart. Okay, after taking these two screws off, you can just lift this out, and there's your motor. Pretty much simple as that. There's uh, rubber mounts on either end. And we'll be uh, we'll go over some of the troubleshooting and maintenance of these things in the next bit.